So, <laughs> I always say it's going to be a short one when I'm super tired, um, and I always end up ranting for like 80,000 hours. We'll see how this one end up, ends up going, but uh, I'm very tired. Um, it's getting to that part of the year where it's starting to edge on 70, and uh, it fucks with my energy levels all night. I, I have harder time sleeping, and all day I fucking, <laughs> I'm dragged down. You know, I'm going crazy from the heat. Fucking, so, the whole, the whole, like, energy levels thing kind of ties into this, I guess. Because I feel ill. The heat is making me feel ill. Um... And, uh, I, I guess, uh, housemate's doing some work outside, so you might hear that, I don't know, but the, 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 the subject for today is health, um, and, and how it's just so laughable how public health is being treated right now, um, and has been for, you know, a significant period of time, um, I mean, I partially went over it yesterday, I've been going over it for a while anyway, but, uh, I just, I, f I found some stuff, right, that both sort of comports with the health and environmental aspects, right, and <laughs> the, the sort of broad-based implications, um, uh, of, of the, the, the stuff that the government has mandated, it's just, it's staggering. It's staggering. And I, I thought it kind of tied a little bit nicely and neatly together. Um, now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the fact that uh, the CDC now says vaccinated people can stop wearing masks indoor. Uh, now, <laughs> to be extremely clear... Um, this is the same CDC that said you don't have to wear masks. They lied to you. Fauci lied to you. And if they're right that this illness is causing so much death and that it's, like, an abnormal amount of death, then Fauci should be held criminally fucking liable for his fucking lies, right? Um, not only should he be held financially liable criminally liable for his lies in that regard but uh he, he he hates being asked questions about the lab in Wuhan um which the former CDC director says is where the virus was engineered they did gain of function research they found out how to make it stick to humans better that's what they did and then they blamed bats because they wanted to stoke racist sentiment rather than anti-government sentiment. Hey, maybe like they always fucking do. Maybe like racism is a tool to keep people opposed to each other rather than the state. Huh, who would have thought that? Who would have thought that maybe the invention of race um, would coincide with the invention of a statist caste system? that they could use to keep the tax cattle distracted and fighting each other rather than smashing the system before it got this behemoth big. Maybe that's always been what race is for? Racism? Maybe that's what these things were invented for is to keep us at each other's throats rather than fighting the fuckers who put us here? Anyway, they they did this racist lie just like the racist lie that MSG is bad for you which by the way if you want to trigger an anti-MSG person just feel free to buy two pounds of MSG not sponsored I would if if they wanted to sponsor this bullshit for some reason but just you know if you want to trigger an anti-MSG person feel free I um it, it's it's funny when I brought that up the other day I can't remember where it was but I brought up the fact that the reason uh, MSG is considered bad is racism. And somebody else was like, 
well, doesn't it cause cancer? It causes cancer. And, and, and I found, like, multiple sources that disproved that, and they didn't seem to give a shit. The general vibes um, that you should get from the CDC is dishonest, hawksterish salespeople trying to sell you the latest government lines so that you will do what they say and not ask questions. Well, here on the Jeremiah Talks channel, I ask fucking questions. I am an asshole who does not mind upsetting people. And in this particular case, I'm seeing this thing on Twitter. Here's the Twitter propaganda outlet um, and, and their bullshit, uh, the way they wrote it. Here, because they have they have a dedicated propaganda team. They have dedicated people who write bylines for trending topics and who force topics to trend when they otherwise wouldn't, and who editorialize the whole thing so that you take a side on the trend before the trend even fucking gets to you. Um, and this is what they had to say. Oh, yeah, so if anybody has a problem with me priming it that way, eat shit. Twitter primes everything, however the fuck they want. That's the point I'm trying to bring up. So if you, if you have a problem with the way I just primed that, you can go fuck yourself. But the CDC says fully vaccinated people can stop wearing masks in most indoor places. The U.S. CDC released new mask wearing guidance on Thursday saying that fully vaccinated Americans can stop wearing masks in most indoor and outdoor locations. The new advice still asks pe all people to wear masks when entering public transportation, planes, hospitals, doctor's offices, and prisons. The CDC's gui guidance does not overrule individual state mandates on mask wearing. So, if your state still wants to force you to fucking cover your face to wear a nice muzzle all the time, uh, they can do that. Um, and the CDC is saying that if you're in, like, a decent chunk of places, you should still wear it. Uh, but if you're just going to a party or something, that you can get away with it. Wait for them to claim a spike happened, um, and then say that masks are mandated again. That masks are necessary. Oh, we saw we we predicted a spike, and and <laughs> we 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 foresaw this coming. So so we we stopped people from wearing masks for a little, so that doctors could stock up, <laughs> just like they fucking did before. Um. So. Fauci is a fucking liar. The CDC is run by liars. They're liars. Um, and whether or not you trust them that you need masks or don't need masks, they send such mixed and irregular signals that you can probably guarantee that the message they send today will not mean shit tomorrow. It won't mean fuck. Um, <laughs> but, but like... The CDC also trended today because they they were talking about breakout cases. And why were they talking about breakout cases? Because people were talking about the fact that they got tested positive for COVID after getting the vaccine. Huh? I fucking wonder why. I'm not going to say who they are, but a decent chunk of people I know got the vaccine and got sick. And, and the high-profile case today is fucking Bill Maher, um, who said, Thanks to all wishing me well, hard to do since I feel perfectly fine, but I appreciate it. Most upset about ending my streak going back to 93 of never missing a politically in incorrect or real-time episode. Oh well, even Cal Ripken had to sit one out at some point. And, and people are freaking out and or celebrating. There are fucking so many Karens who say that I didn't like what he had to say about COVID. So good thing, karma. <laughs> so many fucking people, because these people want to control you. They want to control you, and that means that if you don't do what they say, they're going to come after you. You know, I still remember uh, the the thing that got me kicked out of the most recent server. Um, the, the thing that got me excommunicated real quick 
before the, like, I guess lead admin realized that that's not actually against the rules, is that I have an alternate opinion on masks. Um, and I haven't worn one, um, unless I absolutely had to. If they mandated that I wear one or I couldn't get on the bus, uh, I wore one if I needed to ride the bus, right? Uh, if they mandated it so that I could go into a store, then I did that. But I avoided it at all costs. I kept my music loud, so they'd really have to try to get my attention if they wanted uh, me to put put this on. Um, and, you know, the only times that I reliably did it were going into a store that I knew would stop me because they had reliably done it every time. Um, and I haven't gotten ill. You can claim that I'm an asymptomatic carrier all you fucking want. You you can claim that with no medical research because I haven't gotten tested. Um, but, you know, the fact is, uh, if you feel fine, you're not coughing and sneezing, and you're not releasing your viral load. Now, as long as I stay relatively safe, I should be okay, and nobody should be able to stop me from anything because I'm not a danger I'm not stopping anybody else from being healthy and safe I'm doing my part by trying to eat healthily live healthily work out a lot get my vitamins get my zinc get all of the things necessary that I can do to prevent myself from becoming ill to begin with and that's my contribution and it should be every single other person's contribution. But that's not what the fucking CDC wants. That's not what any of these fucking people want. What they want is compliance and obedience. That's the real reason they're upset about masks. Or they don't even care about either and they're just pissed that you deviated from the group. Because society raises children from the ground up to be obsequious, servile pawns to the state. So... They're not actually medically sound, but that doesn't mean that they're not going to be extremely angry anyway. So, when I got ejected recently, um, and I'm not going to say what the server is, I'm going to give them a chance to do better, you know, they're a bunch of kids, doesn't fucking matter anyway. I'm in there to spread anti-pedo stuff because that's what the server is for, uh, allegedly. But the, uh, the, the, the tweet that I sent out um, was <laughs> relatively spot on, I think, uh, because <laughs> I said that, uh, that basically that they, that they will try to take everything from you. Um, they'll try to threaten every aspect of your life. Um, we should have a hashtag. Hashtag Mask Karen. I hope you get the virus. Get out of society. Jogging without a mask. 911. A family in a park. Treason. Not 12 feet away. Manager. I hope you lose your job. I hope they censor you. Now like, share, and subscribe. That's the mask, Karen. You're a Karen. You're still a Karen. It doesn't matter how much you project. It doesn't matter how much you try to change the meme to be people who don't like these restrictions, who aren't calling the cops, who aren't demanding management, who aren't servants of the state, who aren't making other people's lives miserable for no reason. Uh, you're still the Karen because you're trying to control other people over petty bullshit. That's the fact. And I'm real glad this is being ported to, to library it automatically follow me on library if you follow me here if you subscribe to me here which subscribe to me here like and subscribe if you like this bullshit uh if you like what i'm saying here realize this is temporary as fuck and i'm going to be censored so go to library uh create an account verify your account and uh start watching my content it supports me it supports you it prevents me from being censored. Uh, it's very good. But, um, oh, and also, uh, I, I made a, a link on my site. I'm going to start doing that with all my bullshit so I can track it more easily. 
but I made a link on my site. It's a redirect link. You can go to jeremiahharding.com slash L, uh, sorry, L-B-R-Y, uh, and you can get uh, access to my invite link, which will give you a sign-up bonus, it will give me your sign-up bonus once you verify your account, and it'll let you get access to an uncensored video economy. When Corbett was censored for talking about sens uh, similar things, uh, it's a good thing he had all his bullshit backed up to BitChutin Library. Because it means you can still watch his amazing content there. I can still send people things like 9-11 A Conspiracy Theory. Because he posted it to multiple places. And primarily to a decentralized platform like Library. Do it. Like, get elsewhere. Because this is temporary. This is going away. They are going to shut me up at some point on this platform. They can't shut me up for real. They can't shut me up for good. Uh, and I don't think they would want to, uh, because the blowback and consequences from such a decision would probably end poorly for them. But ultimately, this is all temporary, so find me elsewhere. But, the, the, you know, the point I was trying to bring up is that, you know, this is the Karen thing. The Karen thing is trying to manipulate and control and shit. Um, <laughs> and, and just to be real fucking clear... Uh, you want to go to theguardian.com uh, and, and look up an article called More Masks Than Jellyfish. Coronavirus waste ends up in ocean. A glut of discarded single-use masks and gloves is washing up on shorelines and littering the seabed. Conservationists, this is by uh, Ashifa Kassam. Uh, conservationists have warned that the coronavirus pandemic could spark a surge in ocean pollution adding to a glut of plastic waste that already threatens marine life after finding disposable masks floating like jellyfish and waterlogged latex gloves scattered across seabeds. The French non-profit Operation Merpupa, I think that's how you pronounce that, I don't do baguette, whose activities include regularly picking up litter along the Cote d'Azur, I don't also know how to pronounce that, began sounding the alarm late last month. Divers had found what Joffrey Peltier of the organization described as COVID waste. Dozens of gloves, masks, and bottles of hand sanitizer beneath the waves of the Mediterranean, mixed in with the usual litter of disposable cups and aluminum cans. The quantities of masks and gloves found were far from enormous, said Peltier, but he worried that the discovery hinted at a new kind of pollution, one set to become ubiquitous after millions around the world turned to single-use plastics to combat the coronavirus. Quote, it's the promise of pollution to come if nothing is done. So, the environment is being covered in plastics. I fucking wonder why almost like covid policy has people mask crazy sanitizer crazy glove crazy for no fucking reason because it blocks your immune system's ability to do its job and gain knowledge of pathogens uh it it blocks the natural immunological responses that people have been relying on since forever um and suddenly it's a bad thing to point this out. Suddenly you can be censored from social media. You can be dragged off your employment. You can have your life ruined uh, because you dared to disagree with the status quo in this regard. But let me be clear here. Uh, that's not it. There's more. So uh, I watched a Russia Today thing. Uh, that, and it phrased it like breasts because breasts sell. Um, but it, it basically, it went over the fact that drinking water is now so contaminated with microplastics that it's making breast milk toxic. And, and, and this is just one type of thing. I, I remember reading a thing a long time ago. I can't remember how long ago. I think it might have been a year or two where it said that you have a fuck ton of forever plastics in your bloodstream. That your bloodstream is absolutely chock full of plastics you will never get rid of 
simply because of the environmental impact of single-use plastic bullshit. So, let, let's be completely <laughs> and utterly clear here. This is the environment that people like Greta, Greta Thunberg, who was trending the other day because she was stupid about international affairs and she never should be the fucking spokesman for an organization, much less... Uh, one that cares about the environment she doesn't understand. She's nowhere. None of these greenies are anywhere, with very few exceptions, saying, hey, you know, maybe we shouldn't be doing this whole single-use plastic bullshit. Maybe we shouldn't be <laughs> fucking up the environment yet further and our own bodies by extension. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. No greenies are coming out, with very few exceptions, and saying, Hey, stop. Let's not. Because they're all too afraid to lose their position in the COVID cult. That's it. Uh, the green movement is bought and co-opted by a lot of the same people who are pushing this nonsense. Who are saying that people like Bill Maher, who feel fine have to shut down their shows even though you can avoid wearing masks inside if you're vaccinated like Bill Maher was clearly the CDC is full of fucking shit and maybe you shouldn't be listening to the same CDC that was also partially responsible for you know funding to a lab of one kind or another maybe we should start thinking for ourselves I want to read you the the pointers, the sort of liner notes from an article I wrote for agoristnexus.com. And that is 10 ways the government's COVID response worsened your health. Uh, <laughs> I went over some, some relatively uh, heavy stuff here. Um, Panic and general stress increase your cortisol level, which in turn reduces your immune response. When every moment of your waking life is concerned with the latest death and case totals, and when everything around you was bombarded by state propaganda about how awful the virus is, your cortisol levels will be sky high if you buy into that. It's, the, it's like the Cold War. They called it the Red Scare for a reason. People were terrified. Um, so... It also goes over the fact that uh, that peer victimization, the kind of thing that uh, gets kids to bully each other in school for not following uh, COVID bullshit uh, on social media, etc. Peer victimization in youth can really fuck up your immune response for the rest of your life. Stay inside and its consequences have been a disaster for the human race. The idea that we're suddenly supposed to reject millions of years of evolution and hundreds of thousands of years of human action and say that it's suddenly okay to remain constantly sunless and indoors is absurd. Uh, not only do low levels of sunlight cause seasonal depression in many people, but anxiety disorder and panic attacks have been listed as caused by low sun exposure as well. So this goes to my previous point about stress, but additionally, sunlight's often associated with production of vitamin D and white blood cells, which means that staying indoors can actually be deadly to anyone who has low immune function and cause people with normally functioning immune systems to have poor immune function. Uh, I go over it a little bit more. It's not delivery, it's death. A natural result of the policies ordering everyone to stay indoors is that many people didn't see a way to, to a store or there was a run on stores, leaving them depleted of everything of quality. Some places ended up looking like war zones, complete with smashed shelves, glass, and more. This led to a lot of people starting to order delivery a lot more, combined with a lot more visits to fast food restaurants, albeit not using the lobbies. Processed foods are very bad for your immune system. Um... I, I went over that. I cited Harvard Medical. Uh, sanitizer is insane. The amount of people pushing for using sanitizer nearly everywhere is absolutely off the charts lately, and it makes sense. In a world where everything seems unclean, people often rely on the thing they believe cleans things, but there's one problem with 
that sanitizer as anyone who has worked any sort of food service or medical job before can tell you does not clean it merely sanitizes this means it gets rid of a significant amount of bacteria but it does not get rid of viruses or actually make the surface clean that doesn't stop CDC at all from recommending that all retail establishments begin to sanitize everything in their stores uh, to combat COVID um, and there's also more about like super bugs shit like that Staying away from other people is bad, okay? Never being exposed to anyone else's, else's pathogens is a good way to reduce your immune system's capability to respond to said pathogens. And a blanket policy to do so increases the likelihood of getting sick from literally everything else other than COVID. And COVID, by the way. Uh, so, <laughs> low contact is bad for stress levels. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um... Staying away from gyms, running trails, and public workout areas, and more. Fitness has been at all-time lows recently, and in 2016, obesity was already triple what it was in 1975. Obesity is bad for your immune health. Four, sedentary lifestyles are deadly. All of those combined factors lead to the encouragement of a sedentary lifestyle where people are in front of devices all day long trying to escape from the reality of their trapped existence rather than living their lives. This kind of lifestyle encourages cardiovascular disease, cancer, and a variety of other illnesses, including COVID, all of which have a much higher morbidity rate than coronavirus. Three, empty hospitals are real. And while they and where they aren't, hospitals are being massively transformed into COVID treatment centers at the expense of all other patients in medicine. Massive sections of hospitals are being set up for social distancing, quarantine, and other standard blah blah blah. Um, and basically, I went over the fact that they're not treating patients for other things; that they've paused treatment for for a significant period of time. Um, <laughs> the state has banned alternative medicine. Um, and they have made healthcare prohibitively expensive, uh, meaning that you oftentimes can't get healed anyway. Um, and th little things that would make your condition worse are made worse by the government. Um, because it's too expensive to prevent them from becoming much worse. Um, and the state is cancer. And I go into the fact that they have experimented on humans before. And, and, and not to mention that, but the fact that they're actively militarizing. Like, War Powers Act. Most COVID money went to the Pentagon, people. Yeah, this is long. It's already 25 fucking minutes of me ranting. Point is... The people who claim to care about the environment don't actually give a fuck. The people who claim to give a fuck about health don't actually care. And they will manipulate situations to their benefit and lie and expect you to just eat it. Um, you know, that that's the reason, that's the real reason they're upset with, with Bitcoin's impact on the environment. Because... They don't want you to think about all of the other environmental impacts that they encourage, that they do, that they push. It's the same reason that people are pissed off about Sega and NFTs, you know? It doesn't matter when we're the ones fucking up the environment. It only matters when we can use it to control you. Fucking peon. Fucking prol. Fucking pawn. That's what matters. So, yeah, I'm a little bit irritated. Got me a little bit jazzy, you know? But <laughs> I'm not fucking wrong. And that's the best part about all of this. People are still going to find a way to call me insane if they do watch this video, and most of them won't even click. Because it's much easier to avoid the truth than it is to question your own ideas enough to realize that you might not know it. Anyway, this is brought to you by OPSEC Drip, 240 glorious pixels of Shemog born libertarian news, and in 60 second sound bites, typically. You can listen to this at any time, and you can subscribe to the channel to let him know that his money did something good, and you can do the same for me. Anyway, this has been yet another rant 
Smash the state.